Good evening. How are you? It's Julie Ellender here. Are you happy? Because I'm happy. I hope you're happy. I'm so sorry I've been away for so long. My home state of Louisiana pretty much flooded all of the southern region and everybody's been trying to pick up the pieces and I've also been under the weather. Now tonight I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint clouds. That's right, clouds. And I'm going to be using Master's Touch Fine Art Studio Acrylic Pale Blue and Flala Canine Blue. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, it's a starts with a PH and it's not Thalo Blue. I know what Thalo Blue looks like and that's not it. So shame on me for not knowing how to pronounce my colors, but you know, somebody will know it. Anyway, I'm also going to be using uh, Liquitex Basics Titanium White. And that's what we're going to use for our background and for our clouds, just those three colors. And here we will have a paper plate. And that's what I'm going to be using for my palette because it's so much easier to use a paper plate than an actual palette because I really detest cleaning all that mess out. So, here we go. Now the brush that I'm going to be using for the background is a half inch flat brush. It's about the size of my thumb. And I'm going to first dip it into that dark blue. So first we're going to dip it into that blah 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 blue that I can't pronounce and we're just going to drag it across the page. Now if you find that your paint is kind of sticky, dry, pulling, whatever you want to call it, you can actually spray a little bit of water on there. It's not going to hurt anything and I'm not going to drag this all the way across the page. I'm not going to touch the edges because I don't want to. I'm going to take that pale blue and I'm just working that where that darker blue is and I'm just blending it in. And again, if it's streaky, it's fine. So I'm going to use the pale blue in the middle of the page and I'm going to streak it back and forth, working it into the middle of the page and then dragging it down again. So now we're going to take some of that white and we're going to work that into the bottom. And if it picks up some of the blue, don't panic. It's fine. It is a sky after all. Now you'll notice that I am just going back and forth working the brush, going back up and going back down. That's just to blend it a little bit more. But again, if it's streaky, it's fine. So now we're just going to let this completely dry. So what we're going to do now is mix the colors for the base of our clouds. And I'm going to use my palette knife, but you can use a credit card or a knife, whatever you have available that you can mix your colors with. You can even do it with your paintbrush. I'm just going to take some white and I'm just going to use a touch of both of the blues to make the base color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush, which is 3 8 of an inch, I believe that one is, and it's just a little round brush, and I'm not going to dip it in water, I'm just going to lightly dab some paint on there, and you just want the faintest hint of paint at the end of your brush. And then you just dab it on there lightly, and you're going to feather it, and you notice I'm using a circular motion, I'm just feathering that out and fanning the paint out as much as I can. And don't be afraid to really dig your brush into the page. Don't tear the page, but don't be afraid to really work your brush into the page. You see we start off with a little blob and you just keep feathering it out until it looks like a fluffy little cloud. Now every now and then you'll see me 
brush the page like that with my hand, it's because I have a cheap brush and my bristles keep coming off onto the page. Now if that happens to you, it's a pretty easy fix. You can take a needle and you can lift the bristle off the page and then pull it off with a tweezer. Now this happens to me quite often. I'm kind of hard on my paint brushes, but it's no big deal if you can't lift it off the page. It just adds texture. Now you'll notice that I'm adding just a touch of darker blue into the base of these clouds and that's because the original color that I had for the base was blending into the bottom half of my page and I wanted these clouds to stand out a little bit more. I do apologize that my hand's been in the way most of the time. I know you guys are having trouble seeing that. If I was left-handed, it would be a whole lot easier. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my half-inch round brush. I'm going to keep it dry. I'm just going to lightly dab it into that white paint and tap off the excess on the side there. And since the light is going to be coming in from the right side, I'm going to make that my silver lining and what I'm going to do is just on the edge of that cloud I'm just going to tap as you can see I'm, I'm tapping on the edge to make that silver lining and then I'm going to really kind of dig into the page with that brush and start pushing that white paint towards the edge of that cloud. Now because this is not going to be one big cloud, clouds do tend to overlap, I am dividing this cloud into a couple of different sections and as you can see I have another silver lining forming towards the middle. Now because we are working with just a little bit of paint, it will dry rather quickly. Now if you find that you have a streak or a hard line in your cloud and you're not happy with it, just take some more paint and feather it out. It will fluff up. Look at that, a cloud. The key ingredient to these clouds is the highlighting. And if you're having trouble with that, whatever angle the light is coming from, so mine is coming from the right, so I'm angling my brush to the left and I'm pushing that white paint to the right, to the edge of that cloud.
I know you're probably wondering why I did the gradient background. The reason I did that is because if you look at the sky, it's never just one solid blue. It's always gradients of blue, and it gives the illusion of more clouds in the background. So are you dreamers seeing any shapes in my clouds yet? Me neither, I was just checking. As you guys may be noticing, I'm using my left hand on occasion and that's so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I don't usually talk this much in my videos, however, I haven't had a voice for the past couple of days and I felt like using my voice finally now that I have it back. Also, I thought it would be easier for you guys to follow along as I paint this. As you'll see here in just a moment, I'm going to be adding more white to the bottom two clouds than I would the rest of the clouds because they're lower and the light's going to be hitting them just a little bit differently. So they're going to have more light on top rather than on the side. <laughs> 